over rotation. We always hear about it. Everything you go through looking through Instagram or YouTube and you see everybody, oh, you're over rotating, over rotating. I'm like, no, God! But why are you over rotating? What we're gonna talk about are quick fixes during crunch time of the season to help you fix that over rotation and pick up big distance fast. Here we go, check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation, and in today's YouTube video, we're going to talk about one of those common mistakes that's really plaguing lots of throwers out there, the dreaded over-rotation. So one of the things that you hear quite a bit, or you can see, or a lot of people will point out, a lot of times I'll notice posts on Instagram or YouTube, and people are pointing out mistakes people are making, and they're very obvious. But we want to look at why these over-rotation mistakes are occurring in the first place, so we can start to look at ways to address them and help you improve faster. So the idea here is we get to the crunch time of the season, and and we've got to make simple adjustments that are going to yield big results. These are going to be some of those things. So number one, what is one of the biggest causes of over rotation? Young throwers, when they have too much foot motion and they stay on a high toe. So you're going to notice how, how tall the heel is. And so you see some kids and they do this and they stay up and you see how tall that foot's staying. So that is going to cause over rotation because what they'll do is they get up here and you can see that does help me rotate, but we need to be driving and pushing the left knee into the throw. That's what we refer to as pillar three. We call it dropping in and sprinting. So what we want to feel is we're coming into the throw here. If we're driving into the throw, we're pushing the knee in and creating that nice wide sweep. So if we have the high heel, we can't do that. So one of the things is, don't do this. And then what we're going to talk about are how do we fix that. So the quick fix for fixing the over rotation if you have the high heel is simply to turn with the heel lower to the ground. We want to stay on the inside of the foot and we want to keep that foot lower to the ground and that's going to set up this type of an axis. So we're going to be here and you're going to see if we look at somebody like who I think does this extremely well, Daniel Stahl, you look at Guzdius, again a little bit taller but you're going to notice again how the left side turns and the heel is going to come down into that low position. So that's mistake number one. That's a simple fix for mistake number one. Okay, mistake number two. Mistake number two is too active with the upper body and what I mean is opening the arm and chest and you're gonna see how that's keeping me here and so when I do this you're gonna notice how that helps me really spin around and so now if I'm throwing and I open the arm and chest you're gonna see that big over rotation and yes there is a, a proper way to throw the left arm one of the things we talk about inside the throwing chain reaction system is every pillar has a window so in pillar one we have optimal position points, right? So what we're looking at is, especially with the entry side arm, we always want to be thinking, take that arm to 12, 10, 8, 6. And so then it's going to be opening around. So we're taking that long path. If I'm a left-handed thrower, it's 12, 2, 4, 6. You can see how it's this way, right? And how everything's going to pull that way. So we want to be active, we want to be aggressive, and we want to use that entry side. But what we want to do is avoid ripping the chest and the arm open because you'll see that does help facilitate rotation but again if I'm throwing and I throw it does help me kind of push but again what too many young throwers are doing is they don't truly understand that and they're just opening and kind of stepping into the throw so that's mistake number two and again try to take the long path around aggressive with the upper body be aggressive move the arm properly we talk about how we're going to move it into the throw but if we just rip it open and turn the chest that's going to be game over you're going to over rotate and if you have mistake number one combined with that so you have the high heel and that you're going to really over rotate badly into the throw okay so item number three when we talk about is one of the key things is we talk about turning the knee in so now when sometimes if I have everything long and I do this I bring the sweep leg goes narrow when the sweep leg rolls over we're gonna again create rotation and that ultimately is going to have a really negative impact on what you do in the middle of the ring it's actually going to stop rotation so you can over rotate and then it's not gonna allow you to rotate properly into the middle of the throw so again we tend to see this again with a lot of younger throwers and where you'll see athletes and they rotate here and the toes pointing down on the sweep foot so quick fix number one we talk about leading with the inside the knee and keeping that toe up. I'm not a big proponent of super high. I just want the toe 
the toe open so that it can create that nice rotational round sweep path. A long time ago, we did a video on the sweep and we kind of show that, how we take that wide, long position with the sweep leg. That creates, again, the right entry path. If you coordinate that with that 12, 10, 8, 6 upper body and you've got that sweep leg following in that same path, that's where you set up that really nice dynamic throw. I think one of the guys who I think on the world level is doing that in a super pretty way now is Frederick Dockers. Really nice, big, wide, sweep it's really pretty and it's super dynamic and so and when you look on the women's level you look at sandra perkovich really awesome right leg super wide and around and she really cranks that sucker in but those are the things that are going to help create the right path so you think about it logically so keep the toe up and keep lead with the inside some people say inside of the thigh i don't want to see this we want to just see the leg staying open so that we're going to create more rotation so item number four common reasons for over rotation are the combination of you're doing one two and three and so when you put all of those together you have the perfect storm for severe over rotation you're probably going to hear that kind of hard landing in the middle and then the rotation is going to stop and we're going to talk about why that's bad in another video but for today hopefully you found that helpful if you find yourself doing a couple of these things wrong go back review the video hopefully these are some quick tips that are going to help a lot of you out there that don't have coaches or a lot of you young coaches that are, are doing your best and trying to do that and haven't don't understand these small details and hopefully they're going to help you if you did find today's video helpful do us a favor hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up comment below on what else you would like to see and thank you so much and we will see you on the next video be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.